What's up guys, here's Dwayne, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be taking a brief look at the history of the modern V8 era of F1. This was between 2006 to 2013. The engine we're going to be taking a look at particularly was the Ferrari Typo 056. Because you guys seem to like whenever I speak about F1 engines. This was the era before they switch over to the V6. Let's get into things. So, of course we're in automation because that's the place where I build and show these engines to you guys. And be able to explain the history of this engine. This is a new format I'm doing. So, I'm going to get straight into the nerd business. This is going to be the brief history port. So let's go. In 2004, Ferrari decided they're going to develop their newer engine, which is going to replace the older Typo 55 engine. The new engine name or name code for it is the Typo 056. This engine was first used and test driven in August of 2005. This engine would be used in every Ferrari until 2013. This is when the FIA, FIA decided to change the rules to mandate to new regulations and such. More about this engine, this engine had wins at two racetracks that comes to mind, which is San Marino Grand Prix as well as the Spanish Grand Prix. Total wins for this engine that Wikipedia states is where I get all my info from is 39 wins and well in this case in 147 races. Now what's the confusing part about this, it says that the driver stood a total of 122 times on the podium. Now the legendary driver that I can think of is Michael Schumacher. One of my favorite drivers. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the history part of this. So uh, let's move on to the rest of this engine. Hmm. So the difference I'm gonna change this engine here is we do not have 20,000 RPM to play with. We only have I think it's 12,000, yeah, 12,000 to play with. Now we're not noting this is not the same type of fuel they ran during this time. I am going to run different fuel because more power. So yeah, this is a repli replication of the original engine, except there's a hell of a lot of differences. This is, <laughs> what's the word I'm going to use? This is going to be a lot stronger of an engine, so to speak. Because modern technology, we can pretty much replicate a lot more power out of every engine that we build. So far, so good. We already passed their original estimate for power. I'm soon... I hope soon that we can change the slider up to that that statement right there. 12, 21,000 RPM, that's a lot. Now, as you saw in the pictures of this engine, well, in the real version of this engine, they had different valve covers on it. So they had a type of valve cover like that, and they had a bigger intake plenum which had all the intake gubbins that you need for that style of F1. Uh, also I'm gonna use aluminum, like that. I like how that looks. Same with the timing cover. Same thing. Also aluminum. So it blends in nicely. Same with the oil pan. Also aluminum. What does this thing weigh? I'm curious. Oh wow, okay, so we are over... <laughs> Over the weight. <laughs> Why a good amount. So in the weight category we are losing. <laughs> but in the power category we are winning. Uh, it's fine. Looking all good. So now the moment everybody has been waiting for. Let's see what this thing sounds like. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, this thing sounds actually kind of awesome. 
so yeah thank you very much for watching and i uh, hope you enjoyed if you do do consider to like comment share and subscribe because it really helps me out whenever i get an idea and i make a video about it so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one enjoy the rest of your day